Okay, all right, everybody. Welcome, 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 as we say in uh, Fra Fra Le Azari. Uh, they say Aquaba. Of course, it's what you hear the most when you're here in Ghana. That's uh, chief for welcome. And of course, welcome. So what I'll do is we'll walk through fast or slow. Sometimes I can take hours. Other times we can do it quickly in minutes. If you have any questions, you know, feel free. Don't worry about being uh, messing up anybody's recordings because the information is more than, <laughs> you know, is more important and your questions are important. Okay, so I'll start off here. This, my wife is from the north of the country and they call it uh, Bolga Tanga in this area. Uh, one of the heroes or sheroes from that area is a woman called Apoko Kanyani. Apoko Kanyani was back during the slave trade days when they were, there were other Africans and Europeans gathering Africans from the north. She was able with her pestle, and this is the reason she has a pestle, to basically, you know, a pounding, uh, you know, was basically able to ambush some of these uh, slavers. Mm -hmm. and one in particular, and, and bashed his head, killed him on the spot. So they decided maybe this is not the best place to come you know, <laughs> for more, and provided relative security, just the reputation of her and the ladies there and what had happened, and every, the word got back. So they said, let's leave this spot alone. So even if you go there now, you'll find that people have a different kind of mm -hmm. attitude about being conquered. You see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say the name again, please. Apoko Kanyani. That's a fra fra name. Wow. Okay. Now, some of these we won't go so far as Queen T. I know a lot of you have been, um, you know, in the African centered community a long, long time. You know, very, very prominent um, queen in 18th dynasty. You know, she's related as uh, the, either the mother or the aunt, or, you know, different stories to Akhenaten. And, you know, I'm in. So that's Queen T. And you know, if a lot of you I know, Brother Asa Hilliard, and he's always tell us this was maybe his favorite queen with a combination of things power, beauty, grace, influence, wisdom, the whole thing. So this is sisters on the cover, on the front. When you come in, I want everybody to know Queen T when they drive in that gate. I say. Okay. Wow. Now, of course. I don't have to say too much about, about the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a Garveyite, trying to be a functional Garveyite and uh, be here where we have the land, the population, and resources and see what we can do. So I always like for the youngsters to be aware of Marcus Garvey and the UNIA. And of course, a lot of you know the story that it being the largest black organization the world has ever seen. Uh, you read Garvey today, you, you think he, he just was standing down in the corner writing it now because the man has such foresight and brilliance, mm -hmm. you know, so um, we give Garvey the honor. Any, any, I know there's not many questions on Garvey, but that's why he's central because to me, his solutions are still the most uh, relevant. relevant and practical solutions there are. When did you become a Garveyite? Well, I think I've just been always. a, I think I've always been a Garveyite without yeah. announcing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to take it to the functional level, you know. Absolutely. As opposed to just... Talking about the... Uh, but, you know, that. things start with talk, so I don't, you know, we talk and then hopefully we act. Mm. Uh, Kwame Nkrumah, of course, a lot of you know he's the, uh, Ghana was the very first uh, country in Africa to get its independence, yeah, and uh, a lot of you will know, hear a lot more about Kwame Nkrumah on his trip. So I won't go too far with it other than to say that, you know, he was the very first uh, leader of independent post-colonial state in Africa. And uh, of course, it was in the development, freeing the, the uh, African mind, a lot of the shackles that we had, had accumulated over the years of colonialism. And of course, he's a great man here in Ghana. This this particular uh, portrait of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, yes, is extra special. Uh huh. Because the the vividness and the color of the artist's rendition of it is like so real, like right here, right now. I mean, they're all wonderful. They're, but and they're different artists. I was going to say uh, that you was where you, I was coming. You can see a different yeah, artist. Yeah, the shift. The was, first three artists, is, uh, uh, I have a, a Rasta friend who's very brilliant with the abstract art, as you can see, it's a little different. 
Uh, this one is a little more realistic. Mm -hmm. This is a different guy here. I'll talk to you about these two in a second. These two are local. Uh, are, I'm in New Ningo, so these are the founders of New Ningo. Uh, Jonas Kabu, who is the first person here, and um, uh, Hijamna, who is the first chief here, brought by um, uh, uh, Mr. Kabu here. So all of the local people and their youngsters, when they come here, you know, we have to give proper respect. And a lot of them really don't know the history of their own folks. So we're fortunate enough to have pictures. This is a very, very old pictures, but we had them. So we we're lucky enough to have the realistic pictures of the founders of the place you're standing now. This is not Prom Prom. This is New Ningo. But across the street is Prom Prom and going back that way. But we're actually in New Ningo, N-I-N-G-O. Rhymes with bingo with the N. New Ningo, because the other place was old Ningo. Now, my wife did this while I was gone, so I just saw it the first time yesterday. I like it. Welcome wow. to Malevnas. Now, with Malevnas, you also see Abomas. Sometimes you'll see uh, African Ancestry Wall. You know, I know it looks like maybe that's an IRS thing. I'm trying to be, no. <laughs> but that's not what's happening. We've actually kind of made a few changes here. But anything you hear, Abomas, Malevna is uh, my girl. Where's Malevna? Malevna, baby. 